This is fascinating. I remember very clearly, I think anybody who was alive at the time does. I remember my parents waking me up and we went down and we watched you guys land on the moon. No, which you didn't. Was, no, you didn't. What? Because uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation. So you associated what you saw with... I have very hazy memories. Yeah, well, 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 no, but what we saw was we all we all were gathered around you the heard, old curved top heard radio me and listened. Talking about, uh, you know, how many feet we were going to the left and right, and then I said, "Contact light, engine stop." It was and exciting. A few other things, and then Neil said, "Houston, Tranquility Base, the Eagle has landed." And how about that? That, that was that, very exciting. Not a bad line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is no, you didn't. What? Because uh, uh, there wasn't any television. There wasn't anybody taking a picture. You watched animation. You watched animation. You watched animation. You watched animation. WikiLeaks has released more classified documents than the rest of the world's media combined. Picking up the wound. Confirmation of the agent. Light them all up. You want to be in picture. <laughs> That's the best. Let's say the other one in print. I think that's awfully good. That one and the one before it was pretty good. Did we have really... about 15 seconds? Oh, yeah, you got a lot of time. Yeah. I claim this land in the name of. What do you got now? Great. Now move. Okay. <laughs> Ready? And action. Cut it, Jim. There you go. Print that. Print for he needs to still talk this mark. Once more, please. Otherwise, he, uh, he'll train. Let me walk it. Tell me if I don't want to back in the middle of it. Here's what we really need is for him to go to his left and then kind of veer back. Is that right? Hatch light. Exactly right, and it has to be. Uh, we have to be high enough so that we've got blue. We've got you against blue sky and not against earth as you're coming in. You're coming in in the descending approach as you get in. Over. We can rehearse it. Said, go back and we'll rehearse it and see how it looks. Why has nobody been to the moon in such a long time? <laughs> That's not. Uh, an eight-year-old's question. <laughs> That's my question. I want to know, but I think I know. Because we didn't go there, and and that's the way it happened. And, and if it didn't happen, it's nice to know why it didn't happen. So in the future, if we want to keep doing something, we need to know why something stopped in the past that we wanted to keep it going. Security is going to be a very big factor with respect to space and space exploration. At some point in the future, we're going to look back and say, how did we do it without space? The future of American space leadership, we're going to lead again. It's been a long time. It's over 25 years. Today, we're taking a crucial step to secure America's future in space by reviving the National Space Council after it has been dormant almost 25 years, if you can believe it. Today's announcement sends a clear signal to the world that we are restoring America's proud legacy of leadership in space. Future of American space leadership, we're going to lead again. 
It's been a long time. It's over 25 years. Today, we're taking a crucial step to secure America's future in space by reviving the National Space Council after it has been dormant almost 25 years, if you can believe it. Today's announcement sends a clear signal to the world that we are restoring America's proud legacy of leadership in space. At some point in the future, we'll look back and say, how did we do it without space? Look back and say, how did we do it without space? Huh? Well, a funny thing happened on the way to the moon. That's the title of a video that I watched on YouTube. You can see astronauts hanging from wires, proving that astronauts are NASA are liars. They analyze photos and highlight mistakes with the moon landing missions. They show it was faked. You can see them faking the photos of Earth. They use a round window to fake the curve. Hmm. That's suspicious, don't you think? Yeah, listen up. I watched another documentary called Astronauts Gone Wild. Astronaut Buzz Aldrin gets a little riled. All he was asked to do was to swear to God that he went to the moon, but he would not. He was faced with a moon landing denier. Had a chance to show that he ain't no liar. But Buzz decided to punch that dude just for asking him to swear if he went to the moon. Hmm. Suspicious. So, do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon. But I don't care, man. I'm still going to make this too because I know that we didn't go. To the moon. What if you swore in the Bible that you walked on the moon? You're the one who said you walked on the moon when you didn't. And how about those moon rocks they gave to museums? And thousands and thousands of people did see them. But one museum took a closer look. They soon realized that something's afoot. The rock they were given turned out to be a fake. Just a piece of old wood, not a rock from space. Yeah, when God made the moon, he saw it was good. But apparently made it from petrified wood. Hmm. Yeah, that's suspicious. Listen up. In another museum sits an astronaut suit. Take a good look at the tread on the boot. It doesn't match up with the prints on the moon. And y'all still believe what they're telling you? Or how about that phone call that Nixon made to the moon that's a quarter million miles away? When I can't get a signal on my cell phone line, I guess phones were better in 69. Hmm. Well, do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon. But I don't care, man. I'm still going to make this too because I know that we didn't go. To the moon. And it certainly has to be the most disturbed telephone call ever made to the White House. Yeah, you went straight through those Van Allen belts. It wasn't a problem, right? Nothing was felt. But now you say it's a problem and you can't get through? This problem needs to be solved, according to you. But didn't you solve that problem back in 69 and you flew straight through them five more times? Uh, you wonder why I think it's fake when there are so many Apollo mistakes like the telemetry data that's 
all gone missing. 13,000 reels, are you kidding? A giant leap for all mankind, but you lost the data and no one can find. Hmm. Come on, man, are you kidding? Do you still believe we went to the moon? Do you still believe what they're telling you? Just connect the dots and pretty soon you'll find out what I found out too. But if you question this stuff, you'll be labeled a loon. You'll be called a conspiracy theory buffoon, but I don't care, man. I'm still going to make this too, because I know that you can't go. No, there's no blast crater from the lunar module. Probably because that thing is just a model. Or the flag that flutters with no atmosphere. <laughs> Don't you think that's a bit queer? Intersecting shadows means another light source. Do I think it's fake? <laughs> yeah, of course. The whole thing was filmed on a Hollywood set. Directed by Kubrick is my best bet. The moon's so cool, we'd love to explore it. But we can't get past low Earth orbit. Do your research, people. I think you'll find But NASA admits that a bunch of times. Listen. Right now, we only can fly in Earth orbit. That's the farthest that we can go. And this new system that we're building is going to allow us to go beyond and hopefully take humans into the solar system to explore. So the moon, Mars, asteroids, there's a lot of destinations that we could go to. And we're building these building block components in order to allow us to do that eventually. I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology, and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again.